In case it wasn't already obvious, I am very much into art. It's been a big part of my life for pretty much as long as I could remember. This video is going to be outfits inspired by my favorite artists. Most of these items are going to be thrifted or at least bought secondhand. If not, I will specify. Some of these outfits will be just inspired by the artist in general, and then some outfits will be inspired by specific paintings. Yeah, let's just get started. First artist is Claude Monet, and I am very much in love with the Impressionist movement in general. I actually did a little project in college about this era of art, so it just is really special to me just this time period. Monet is, of course, a very famous artist from this movement. So for this outfit, it is inspired by one of his paintings of irises, and I was just very inspired by the colors mostly, just like these deep greens, some blues, and then this beautiful like lavender color. So for my outfit, I wanted to feature this button-up sleeveless top that I thrifted, and I chose this top because first off, it features that lovely, beautiful lavender shade. And also, the shirt has these little embroidered flowers that I felt really matched with the painting. And it was definitely very long, so I tied up the shirt just to give it a little bit more shape. And as far as bottoms, I'm featuring this suede deep green skirt. And this is also thrifted. I chose this skirt just to match with the green tones and I felt like these pieces definitely paired well together. And as far as shoes, I'm just pairing these Doc Martin sandals just because I wanted to give it a more summery, spring kind of vibe to this outfit. I also wanted to just add this cardigan which I also thought paired well with the outfit and it also features these knitted plant kind of embroidery all over it which definitely matched with the outfit and with the painting. Yeah, this is my whole outfit inspired by Monet. This outfit is inspired by Vincent Van Gogh, more specifically his sunflowers paintings. So for this outfit, I just wanted to feature this kind of two-piece set. This top and these shorts are both from American Apparel, and I did buy them both secondhand from Depop. Just to kind of make it more interesting, I paired it with this brown belt that I thrifted. I put my hair in a ponytail just to make this outfit a bit more playful. And as far as jewelry, I'm featuring these earrings that I handmade myself. And I do have a video tutorial on how to make these earrings. If you guys want to check it out, I will link it down below. And I wanted to pair these earrings with this outfit just to make the outfit more artsy. And then for my necklace, it's just a thrifted little flower necklace I just wanted to add. And then for shoes, just wanted to keep it more casual. So I am wearing these thrifted Skechers sneakers. And this outfit is inspired by Henry Matisse. And for this outfit, I wanted to choose this painting which is woman with the hat and I am just in love with all the colors in this painting and I wanted to feature the colors that popped out the most in this painting so for this outfit I basically was inspired by the color palette so for my top I have this thrifted halter pink top and I think the fitted silhouette of my top went well with these baggy shorts and I picked these obviously just because this matched most with the really bright 
teal color in the painting and just to kind of make it more cohesive I paired this outfit with a thrifted black belt with some gold hardware and I also wanted to throw over this silky short sleeve button up top and then to accessorize I put on this floral scarf and I tied it around like a headband and I just wanted to pair these funky sunglasses that I thrifted at Goodwill. So to also match the dark blue color in the painting, I paired my outfit with these thrifted mules that are this like dark blue navy color. And yeah, that is my outfit that is inspired by Henry Matisse. So getting more into the abstract art, which is my favorite type of art, this next outfit is inspired by Pete Mondrian. Pete Mondrian is very famous for these geometric abstract paintings that feature these bright primary colors. For my top, I have this bright blue sleeveless turtleneck just to kind of break the outfit apart. I have this belt again, this thrifted black belt. I have these white grid pants which are originally from ASOS but I bought them secondhand and the grid pattern definitely reminded me of the geometric structure of Pete Mondrian's work. Then for shoes, I wanted to wear these black thrifted shoes. And then to add the pop of red, I'm pairing this outfit with these geometric earrings and these are actually originally from Forever 21. And then just to show off my earrings, I just pulled my hair back into a bun and that's the outfit. And last but not least, my most favorite artist of all time is Keith Haring and Keith Haring is a more contemporary pop art type artist and he was most influential around the 80s so I just wanted to pay homage to that time period with this outfit. Of course I had to put on this Keith Haring t-shirt that I have had for so many years and it's actually originally from Romwe and I got it when that website first started and when the clothes were actually pretty decent quality. And I also wanted to feature these, this super high-waisted and super 80s like peg pants. For my accessories, I just wanted to put on these handmade earrings that I actually made myself. And then for shoes, I wanted to pair my black high top Converse. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this inspired you guys to try this out for yourself and just be inspired by art and everything around you. And let me know what you guys think. Which outfit was your favorite? Do you guys have any favorite artists? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know if there are any other artists that you guys would like me to create outfits inspired by. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to be happy and positive and always be creative. Alright, see you next time. Bye!